Well, living with a disability can be expensive with costs including support services and adaptive transportation, and that's why Indiana is one of the states that offers an ABLE savings plan. This allows people to grow their money tax deferred and then put it toward living expenses. Our Allison Gormley has tonight's What's the Deal report. Everyone learns a little bit differently. And for Claire Van Wassenhoop, that means being hands-on. Otherwise, it's like if I learn vocally, it just doesn't click with me. Claire, who is 25 years old, has autism. She also has attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. And it's when she received those diagnoses a few years back that she realized just how pricey her expenses can be. The place down the street that I got tested was going to be couple of thousand dollars. I feel like I need to help start pulling weight. In addition to working, Claire signed up for an Investable account. Indiana is one of the 46 states that offers this savings plan, and it works like a 529 savings account. People with a disability present before the age of 26 can set money aside, invest it, and use tax deferred growth for qualifying expenses. The distribution has to somehow be related to supporting that individual as it relates to them living with their disability, and it, the expense must improve their health, independence, or quality of life. Amy Corbin with the state said that can include housing and transportation, health and wellness, and education. Signing up for the account, Corbin added, does not hurt a person's eligibility for other benefits. If someone is on SSI or Medicaid, they're limited to $2,000 in resources, but if they use an ABLE account, they can save money above and beyond that. The annual contribution limit is $16,000 unless the person works. Then they may be able to add more, helping Claire pay for future art classes. And as I said earlier, there are 46 states that offer some sort of plan. So if you go to another state and you like their plan better, you can actually sign up for theirs as long as they accept outside residents. So maybe a little bit of comparison shopping yeah. there. Okay, so you mentioned that this is actually similar to the 529 plans. Mm -hmm. So does that mean that family members or friends can contribute to someone's account? Yes, absolutely. You give them a little coupon book and $25 at Christmas or $25 at their birthday. I love that. Yeah. yeah. So I love that. Investment tool, so. Good to know. <laughs> Thanks, Allison.